So DDR5 launched more than two years ago. And while on paper, we see that DDR5 speeds are much higher than DDR4, the pricing for high-end DDR RAM sticks is still about the same. Why is that? Are DDR4 RAMs in some way better than DDR5? Now, if you're simply in the market for a new PC, getting DDR5 is the obvious choice. It's generally faster, widely available, and probably a more future-proof option. But even if you're going for DDR5, most of us will look at the higher speed, some RGB, and the one in our budget. But what if I tell you there is one more thing which is more important or as important as the speed of your RAM, and that's called latency. So let's understand what really improves your RAM performance and how to choose the best one under your budget. Now starting with the very basic question, how much RAM do I need? The answer is it depends on your particular use case, which could be anything including gaming, video editing, 3D modeling, ya pata nahi kya. For instance, if you just want to game at 1080p, 8 to 16 GB of RAM should be enough to load all the models, the game, everything else. But as we talk about higher resolutions or building an environment for a game or a movie, 32 GB or even more than that is what you should go for. Now, important thing to note here, in DDR5 RAMs, you can opt for 48 GB of storage per stick. So if the PC has four RAM slots, you can easily go up to 192 GB of RAM. But there's a small catch. AMD processors support up to 128 GB as of now, while Intel supports up to 192 GB. And so to simplify this further, if you want more than 192 GB on AMD, you probably need to go on the Threadripper platform. Next up is RAM clock speed. Now this tells you how many times your data goes from RAM to CPU in a single second. A single back and forth is called a clock cycle. And the clock speed is measured in Hertz, at Z. So a 3200 megahertz RAM means your RAM can send and receive data from your CPU 3200 million times in a single second. Basically the higher clock speed, higher the performance. But make sure you look for the maximum clock speed your motherboard supports before getting any RAM. Do check how much RAM speed your motherboard supports by simply visiting the motherboard product page. So while higher RAM clock speed does translate to faster performance, especially for larger projects with higher RAM speeds, you can scroll through multiple bigger timelines smoothly, handle large data sets in a machine learning and switch faster between multiple Chrome tabs or applications. Now there's one more factor, which is also equally important, but almost everyone overlooks this. It's called RAM latency. Now what is latency? If you look closely at your RAM's model, you will come across a two digit number just after the C. Now this is the latency or CAS, column address signal, which determines how fast a RAM can respond to a data request. Basically visualize it like this. Your RAM is set up like an Excel sheet. So each clock cycle, whenever your CPU requests for any data, your RAM will actually need to search through all the rows and all the columns. And this creates a slight delay between each cycle. So even if you have a higher clock speed, if the latency of a RAM is also high, that means you will end up getting worse performance. For example, a 3200 MHz RAM with C16 latency will be faster than a 3600 MHz with C18 latency. Now similarly, in DDR5, a 5600 MHz with CL28 will be faster than 6000 MHz with CL40. So both the clock speed and latency are interdependent and equally important. When going for a new RAM, what you should be looking for is higher clock speeds and lower latency around your budget. Now for most users, having a few nanoseconds of delay might not make any difference. But if you talk about eSports players, when one of the main KPIs of a PC is response time, your best bet would be to go for a lower latency RAM. And that was all you need to know before buying a memory stick. Now summarizing what we just said, just go for DDFI, but make sure to check the latency of all available options and try to go for the lowest one. And in case you want to skip the math, feel free to contact us at bmpp.in or visit our stores in Hyderabad, Bangalore, Delhi or Mumbai. And we'll make sure your PC performs at its best performance for your specific use case. Thank you for watching.